Hi everyone, this is Thane. Today for show and tell, I have a treasured relic from the past. A once lost book I made in kindergarten based on Yoshi's story for the N64. I was surprised to find that it funnily reads like a video script, and the last few pages describe something in the game that scared me when I wrote it. So this should naturally be considered a rough draft of the Dark Aspects episode that would come 20 plus years later. I'm happy to say that the writing within is pretty legible. Of course, though, as expected from a five-year-old child, there are confusing word choices and spelling mistakes, which I've been able to decipher, so rest assured I'll be reading the scripture as it was meant to be interpreted and elaborating when necessary. That is a price tag of $8 on the front cover in case you were wondering. This is a thing I did with books I made for some reason. A steal for such a one-of-a-kind item. But enough of that, let's get right into it. <clears throat> get all the fruits on the level but don't eat junk. If you eat junk, you will lose a heart. If you eat the fruit, you will get a heart. But get the heart that looks like this. That's the heart fruit which makes Yoshi super happy. And this. That is the special heart which unlocks levels in the next world. The little one is found in a bubble that looks like this. Sometimes other stuff you don't know. Do you? No? Okay, because it has a question mark on it. I guess I was going for an instruction manual style here to guide players through their Yoshi story journey. This title has a double meaning then, the game rules, but this book is also full of literal rules on how to play the game. Watch out for enemies on stilts. They are big, some are little. This looks like a juice pouch that says Shrink Master, I think. It's not an actual thing in the game, so maybe I just created my own item with an idea that was stolen and later used in the Mario series as the mini mushroom. Alright, this next bit is my favorite part. Every level has a special fruit, but it doesn't mean anything, okay? It doesn't mean it's the greatest fruit ever. You don't have to eat it if you don't like it. Looks like I had a good grasp on the game's mechanics even back then. The special fruits in each level are the Baby Yoshi's collective favorite, melons. You, as the player, can challenge yourself by trying to fill the dino's bellies with just this premium delicacy or you can more easily diversify their palate and feed them whatever you find lying around. This game lets you choose how to enjoy it. Next, we're going to talk Jungle Puddle. On Jungle Puddle, watch out for a big fish. That's right, big fish. He tries to eat you, so watch out. Since the level apparently deserves several pages dedicated to it, I believe it's safe to say Jungle Puddle left the strongest impression on me when I first played Yoshi's Story which means that nothing has changed, because playing through this course as an adult did not make these baby Yoshi devouring big blurps any less anxiety provoking. That was a dense seven pages of encyclopedic Yoshi story knowledge. So I'm sure you're all relieved to hear that this is indeed the end of today's storybook. But don't forget your free, admittedly slightly off-model cutout Yoshi I included in the back. If you'd like me to read more of these handmade video game inspired creations from my youth, please say something in the comments. Growing up, I dreamed of being an author and illustrator, so I actually have a big bin full of them my mom recently dug up. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out the real dark aspects of Yoshi's story if you haven't already.